Sadly, by 1970, Watney Mans had taken over control of most of brewing in Norfolk. A streamlining of their pub estate followed, and sadly, the gardener's arms closed. Juro Potter was already known as the uncrowned king of the Norwich City pub scene and the Gardener's Arms was his fourth pub in the city. With the pub having stood empty for a number of years, it was Juro who put fresh blood into the business by merging the two properties of number two and number four Timberhill and incorporating the alleyway that separated the two buildings. Having invested substantially in the renovations of the Gardener's Arms, Juro's next decision was to approach the City Council in regards to changing the name of the pub from the Gardener's Arms to the Murderers. The article concludes, In fact, Juro wanted to call it the Murderer's Arms, but tentative inquiries at City Hall met with frowns. They are keen to keep the old City pub names. I'm not bothered, Juro told me. It will probably get a nickname like the murderers anyway. How right he was. Following this, it was Ray Lintz's idea that one of the sides of the pub sign be painted with the murderers logo and the other remained the same with the gardener's arms logo on there. <laughs> 